Welcome to my channel. This video is on medicinal plants and also about an important medicinal plants garden called Dhanavan Tribuna located at Bangalore. In today's world, we see remarkable advancement in modern medicine. In spite of that, use of medicinal plants is increasing worldwide due to expansion of traditional medicine and growing interest in herbal therapies. The use of medicinal plants may be considered the origin of modern medicine. For instance, the first antimalarial drug, quinine, was originated from chinkuna tree. Other drugs like atropine, dioxin, etc. also are from plants' origin. Out of the 252 drugs considered as basic drugs by WHO, World Health Organization, 11% are exclusively of plant origin. As per previous report of WHO, about 80% of the world population depended on traditional medicine for primary health care and this may remain true even today, particularly in developing countries. Even now, much of the Indian population, particularly in rural areas, relies on traditional remedies and health care techniques. About 9 to 10% of the vascular plants on earth have potential medicinal value. Over 7,500 species of medicinal plants are estimated to be used in India by many ethnic communities. About 800 species are used in Indian system of medicine and 880 species are involved in domestic trade. Out of that, 48 species are used for export. In India, about 70% medicinal plants are found in the tropical forest of Western Ghat and Eastern Ghat. These plants in wild are under threat of becoming extinct due to overexploitation for trade and also owing to habitat loss. Already, species like Echorus calamus, Rowulfia serpentina, Centralum album, Saroka asoka, etc., have been considered endangered and threatened in India. Now, in this context, let us know about Dhanavan Tribuna developed at Bangalore near Bangalore University campus. It is one of the most important gardens of medicinal herbs, shrubs and trees associated with Ayurvedic and herbal systems of medicine. It was established in 1987 by Karnataka Forest Department in an extent of about 12 hectare area. Initially, about 190 medicinal plant species were planted in this bana. The main center of attraction here is the nursery inside it where a variety of medicinal plants are raised for public distribution. About 180 medicinal plant species have been exhibited in the demonstration plot here. The whole purpose of Dharamanti Bono is to facilitate learning and research activities on medicinal plants and also to create awareness about importance of cultivation of medicinal plants. Now let me show you some of the important medicinal plants exhibited in Dhanaman Tibono nursery in Bangalore and these plants have been exhibited for the general public so that they can identify, they know the name, English name, local name and also the medicinal uses of these plants. This is say, for example Viper Langam, Ipali, this is another this is herbal herb species. This is America Bali, Tinospora cardipalia. Like that, you can see that this is a botanical name is there, then family name is there, then uh, local name is there. And also, for what purpose this plant, different parts are used to control various diseases. So like that, you can see many plant, very important plants here. And these plants are available. Most of them are available, not only shown here, exhibited here, but available for public. So public will be very much benefited. The a purpose of the forest department is to create awareness about the medicinal plants, traditional use of these medicinal plants. And one can identify, how to identify, they can learn from here. Lot of school children, college students come here and forest department research wing is 
working in collaboration with the Ayush department. So Ayush department doctors they come here with students to show the plants so that they can individually they can learn the plant different parts. Basically it is a lab for them. This is a life lab for them. Previous Prime Minister Chandra Chekharji used to come here. Whenever he came to Bangalore, every visit always visit this Dharnavanti Bana. I have been told that even he tried one medicinal plant garden in his constituency Balia in UP. That is the importance of this medicinal plant nursery Dharnavanti Bana in Bangalore. It is controlled by the research wing of Karnataka Forest Department. Now, I want to show you some of the important medicinal plants planted in Dhanavanti Bana. Here you can see this is Parijat. Another plant you can see this is Ankale, Elangium species. Then adjoining to this you can see this one Kaule Hannu, botanical name is Kerisha Karanda. You can see the fruits. This one is insulin plant used for the treatment of diabetes. Adjoining to that it is Adathoda Vesika. This one is Terminalia Arjuna. It is called Arjun tree. Very useful for the treatment of heart disease. Its bark is used for medicinal purpose. You can see. This one is Jijipas Mauritiana Borehonnu in Canada. In addition to this species, you can also see many other medicinal plants here like Amla, Asuka, Bale, Bokula, Beleric Myrobalan, Shibulic Myrobalan, Dalchini, Gomari, Konak Sampa, Kokum, Noni, Putranjiva, Sandalwood, Simaruba, Sopnat, Wood Apple, etc. In the nursery here, on an average, every year, 2 to 3 lakh seedlings of about 120 to 140 important medicinal plant species are raised based on local demand. Some of the species are having other important uses also. The general public, school children, researchers, and even VIPs visit this banner. More and more visitors should have a glimpse of this banner and procure medicinal plant seedlings of their choice at very low cost. The visitors may check for availability for species like aloe vera, ankole, amritabali, ashwagandha, orjun, bokula, basale, bale, beleric, myribalan, chibulic myribalan, kadamba, Kesia Elata, Chakramani, Dodepatre, Pig, Noni, Parijat, Palash, Pomgenet, Sandal, Tulsi, Wood Apple, etc. The National Medicinal Plants Board, NMPB, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India, under National Ayush Mission Scheme, is supporting market driven cultivation of about 140 prioritized medicinal plants with 30% to 75% subsidies of the cost of cultivation. Interested farmers may check it. The NMPB has also signed an MOU with major Ayush and herbal industry bodies for participation in the cultivation of medicinal plants with pre-decided price, buyback agreement and volume. Under voluntary certification scheme for medicinal plants produce, NMPB also is encouraging the good agricultural practices and good field collection practices in medicinal plants. This will enhance the availability of the certified quality medicinal plants raw material in the country and also will boost their export. Proper government involvement in cultivation, processing, standardization and marketing of medicinal plants and herbal products will help the farming community to enhance their income which will in turn also help to conserve medicinal plants in national forest. Conscious efforts are needed to expand cultivation of medicinal plants on farmland and other kinds of land apart from adoption of appropriate protection and regulatory measures for in-situ conservation in forest. Thank you.